Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you how to create this type of Bauhaus design poster in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump in and have some fun. All right, so we're here in Illustrator and I have this poster over here to the side. And as you can see in this poster, all of the shapes are made up of this one single shape. And it may seem very simple to do this kind of thing, and it is, but there's a couple of steps that you have to take first and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over here to our rectangle tool and we're just gonna create a perfect square. So we're gonna select this square and we're gonna hit A on our keyboard and we're gonna drag over these two anchor points right here and click on this little circle and drag it all the way in until we get that red line. And this right here is actually wider than our base shape. So we're gonna hit S on our keyboard and hit the enter key and that's gonna bring up our scale tool. And all we have to do is click on non-uniform, enter 50% into horizontal and leave vertical at 100% and just hit okay. And there's one more thing that we need to do because we need to resize these shapes, whether it's by itself or in a row. And even if we hold down the shift key, you'll see what happens here. It's gonna maintain those original attributes that we entered for when we made the curve. So it's a very simple solution. All you have to do is go to your pathfinder and click on unite. So now it's one continuous shape and it's gonna maintain that curve from top to bottom. So now I'm good to just recreate this pattern and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But before I do, I'm gonna show you how to easily do this so that you can follow along with me. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this first shape right here. And if you're on a Mac, you're gonna hold down Option and click and drag. If you're on Windows, you're gonna hold down Alt. So now I'm just gonna copy over all of these shapes to create the pattern that's over here on the right side. All right, so here is our perfectly recreated pattern. There's a couple of pro tips that I wanna share with you. One, when you're doing things like this, you wanna make sure that your smart guides are turned on. So that's gonna be under view and smart guides right here. And also if you ever reach a point where you're not 100% sure that two objects are right up against each other, what you can do is select those two objects and click on one that is the key object and go to your align and distribute spacing and make sure this is at zero and just click on vertical distribute space or horizontal distribute space. And what that'll do is it'll put exactly zero amount of space between those two objects. And then at this point, we're good to just lay down our text. And this is the beauty of Bauhaus design is that you can really make this to whatever subject matter you want. And Superman is a great use of this because of the color palette. So here's what some would say is a Superman color palette, but this is actually our Bauhaus color palette. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and randomly just color each of these shapes, red, yellow, and blue. All right, then I'll just color drop these two to this color right here so that it's not 100% black. And then we'll add a background color of this right here. So if you're creating a Bauhaus poster, you can really take these same exact principles and go in and create whatever design pattern that you want. And also remember this, in Bauhaus, you are not limited to squares, circles, and triangles. There's all kinds of other designs that you can do in Bauhaus design, and really you can tailor it to whatever you want. Just make sure that there's some kind of correlation between your subject matter that you're designing for and the design itself, and you'll be good. All right, well, thank you so much for watching me create that poster today. I hope I taught you something in Illustrator. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications to be notified of all future videos. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.